finally, I got my Kingdom Hearts for the first time. Time to plug my free MacBook and my USB flash drive. Here we go. I'm gonna play Kingdom Hearts for the first time. What the heck is this? All you need is a memory card with a free MacBook software, which is you can buy this on Shopee, Hazada, and Amazon. A laptop or a desktop computer, Ethernet cable, and then USB flash drive. Right click the start menu button, open this management. Now click the main drive of your computer, right click, then click shrink volume. It is up to you how much space you need for your PS2 games. But for this video, we need 40,000 megabytes, which is 40 gigabytes. Again, it is your decision on how much space you really need for your PS2 games. Click shrink, wait for some minutes to shrink your drive. Now we have our vacant space for our PS2 games. Right click on our vacant space, click new simple volume. Click next, leave that as 40,000 megabytes, assign this to letter D. Set file system to NTFS, allocation unit size default. Let's name our drive to PS2 underscore space. Click next, check everything first, then click finish. We have our drive for our PS2 games. Let's go to your browser, search your favorite PS2 game. Let's search Kingdom Hearts. Go to any site that you like. Let's go to coolroam.com. Scroll down, click alternative download link. Wait for tiny seconds to click the download button. Click download your file and wait to be downloaded. The ISO file that we are downloading is NTSC. So make sure your console is NTSC by looking at the back or at the bottom of your PS2 console. Assuming that the sticker is not broken yet, our file has downloaded. Let's go to our file explorer and go to downloads. Right click our compressed file and click extract to kingdom hearts. Now place it on your desktop. Let's go back to your browser and go to PS2 dashhome.com click downloads and click OPL new betas you may click this one but let's go to OPL new betas scroll down and click the latest OPL software download the newest OPL software go to file explorer go to downloads and extract our compressed OPL software then move it to your desktop let's go to your browser again and search OPL manager Click the official website and then click the latest OPL manager software. Go to your file explorer, go to downloads and extract it. Then place it on your desktop. You may remove the ISO file from its folder. Now we have got three items here. The PS2 ISO game file, OPL software for PS2, and OPL manager for PC. Let's copy that ISO file, open your file explorer, go to PS2 space drive, create a folder and name it PS2 underscore ETH. And then create folder called DVD. Open the DVD folder and paste the ISO game here. Let's go back to our PS2 space drive, open PS2 ETH, and here we are creating folders that are needed for the OPL. Create apps, art, CD, CFG, CHT, LNG, POPs, THM, and VMC. Open the OPL manager folder, double click OPL manager.exe. Choose your language. I am going to choose English. 
You may uncheck the box or check the box to check updates every time you open OPL Manager. Click Save. Select the mode to Normal. Click Browse. Go to PS2 Space Drive. Click PS2 ETH folder. Then click Save. Click that OK. And OK again. Click that PS2 ISO game and rename it if necessary. Make sure it was less than 32 characters. And make sure you have an internet connection when getting the title from their database. Click Try Update File Name when you are done. And click Yes. Click the ISO game and click Manage Art. Click that globe icon to download art cover from their database. Once you are done, close the art cover menu. And close the OPL Manager. Go to Control Panel, click Network and Internet, click Network and Sharing Center, go to Advanced Sharing Settings. Here under Private, click Turn on Network Discovery and Turn on Automatic Setup for network connected devices. And here, turn on file and printing sharing. Next, let's go under guest or public. Same procedure as the last one. Turn on network discovery and turn on file and printer sharing. Let's go to all networks. Click turn on sharing so anyone with network access can read and write files in public folders. Click Use 128-bit encryption. Click Turn off password protected sharing. And click Save changes if you are done. Let's go to Control Panel again. Click Uninstall a program. Go to Turn Windows features on or off. Scroll down until you see SMB 1.0 slash CIFS. Check every box under SMB 1.0 slash CIFS and then click OK. After that, restart your computer. After you restarted your computer, go to Control Panel again, click Network and Internet, go to Network and Sharing Settings, then click Change Adapter Settings. Right click on your Ethernet port and click Properties. Click Internet Protocol Version 4. Click Properties. Click Use the following IP address. And create your own IP address. For me, I'm going to use 192.168.123.123. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway will be the same as our IP address that will be 192.168.123.123 and then click OK and you may close the control panel go to your file explorer and go to ps2 space drive right click the ps2 eth folder and go to properties go to sharing tab and click share click the arrow button and choose guess then click add click that arrow button and select read slash write Press share and your folder was shared to your guests. You may close it and close everything. Now let's go to your control panel again and search for power options. Now select change plan settings on your selected power plan. Put the computer to sleep to never. Click save changes and you are good to go. Now it is time to put your flash drive into your computer. Format your flash drive to FAT32 with default allocation size. 
Make sure quick format was checked. Hit start. Make sure all of your data from your flash drive was backed up or transferred to another drive. And hit OK. After that quick format was complete, let's put our OPIA software to our flash drive. Let's go to our flash drive. Open the OPIA folder. Open that folder. Go to OPIA folder. Copy that OPIA software. Then paste it to our flash drive. Close the window and eject the USB flash drive. Let's go to our PS2 console. Insert our memory card with free MacBook software and our USB flash drive. Turn on your console. And go to you launch elf. Go to file browser and go to mass folder. Go to OPIA software. Press R1 and select copy. Go back and go to MC0. Open the boot folder. Press R1 and select paste. We have already put our OPIA software into our memory card in memory card slot 1. Press select button to exit and select PS2 browser. Let's go to FMCB configurator. Select your preferred button layout. Go to configure OSDSYS options. Go to configure item and select an empty slot. I'm going to pick slot 2. Name it OPL then select OK. Go to path 1 and press the square button. Go to MC0. Open boot folder and select the OPIA software. Let's go return. And select save CNF to MC0. And hit exit. Now we have our OPL in our menu. Turn off your console, remove the USB flash drive, and let's connect our Ethernet cable to your computer and to your console. Now let's go to OPL. Press the start button, go to settings, and this is my settings so you can copy my settings but it's up to you to set it up mine is i set every device to manual because i hate automatic i will just set hdd device to manual and i will set by default menu to eth games select ok and select save changes let's go to network settings now we have our mass here which is 255, 255, 255.0 and let's set our gateway to 192.168.123.123 set that address type to IP our address is 192.168.123.123 set our share to ps2 underscore eth set our user to guest leave the password empty select ok and select save changes press the circle button go to eth tab and select start device we have our game here let's test it out
So as you can see, it is running smoothly. Thank you everyone for watching and have a great day everyone. Bye bye.